Hello everyone. In this video, I figured we'd take a moment to talk about materials. There's been a new update put out for hard ops, um, version 983 underscore 17, which contains bug fixes for the active tool. When it comes to hard ops, you know that you can select an object and of course create a material through the control tilde helper. However, there's a annoying bug where you click a material and it doesn't actually assign it, which has always driven me crazy. Uh, through the end panel, you can also access everything that's in the control tilde, meaning you can also add materials. So if we click on add material here, you can see that it actually does add the material. However, the annoying part of it is always having to go in here and pick a mid gray and um, deal with the roughness and turn the metallicity either all the way up or all the way off and dealing with whether I want to clear code or not. So in this newest version, we added a new option to the Alt M menu called add blank material. And if you use this, it will add a blank material of random values of all the parameters I just mentioned, but it will also give it a random viewport color. So you can just select any object and just assign materials. We'll select both of these and assign a blank material, select both of these blank material and assign a blank material. We can even select things and press Shift R to repeat uh, in case we want a different blank material. Of course, at this time, it's creating a whole ton of materials um, because we're creating a new material each time we reuse that button. So if we look at our Alt M, we see that we do have quite a few materials. So in the future, we'll be coming back to clean that up. But if we jump over to render mode, you can see that now I just have a series of random shaders. We can select this, add a blank material. And this has been just given random value. So this is something I'd always wanted uh, in order to solve a problem I was having with the material helper. So I do hope that you guys give it a try, download the latest update and give us your thoughts as far as what you think you would like it to be. I'm already thinking of ideas like having some sort of external panel where you can set um, probabilities to control how gray it's gonna get versus white, uh, the probability of metal, which I've actually, did some last minute changes to ensure that it goes with metal a little bit more often and goes a little bit less often with clear coats. But that is the tool in a nutshell. We'll press Alt V, jump it over to EVHQ, and things are already looking good. I mean, I guess we probably could use a light in our scene. This particular asset was a coupler I made for Tony in order to um, demonstrate an idea for something I wanted to uh, shrink wrap in Marvelous Designer. But with that, I believe you get the idea. So we will wrap up this video and I'll see you guys next time.